Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Yesterday, Ubiquity released a new Unify Talk application 1.19.2, and this brought a couple new things to us. It added the ability to do call parking, as well as the ability to send teleport invites to users via the email. But we can't do that quite yet because our Unify Network application needs to be at 7.4.140. But as of 37 minutes ago, you could see up here, they did release UTP TouchMax 2.9.2. And the main feature that that brings us is the ability to have a remote phone at a different location other than our main headquarters. So we could still create that VPN tunnel with teleport. We could scan the QR code on the remote phone and then gain access to the Unify Talk system. Another feature that's brought to Unify Talk is call parking, and we will go over both of those. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Talk consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com and you could find affiliate links down in the description below. So let's take a look at the topology. Right now, this is my primary site and it's running my Unify Talk controller. I have one phone associated to that Talk controller currently. Now say we have a few remote users that we want to be able to use our Unify Talk phone system. The way we would have to do it before is to use site-to-site -site VPNs. And if these remote users didn't have any gear that could do that, then we were out of luck. But now with the teleport VPN, it makes it super simple. And on the right hand side, we have the remote user. And as long as they have an internet connection, we could connect their UTP touch max to our Unify Talk controller. So the first thing that we need to do to get this remote user into our network is to create a teleport VPN. So going into our teleport and VPN on my UDM SE, we could see teleport here. We're gonna wanna generate a new link. Now you could either email this link by copying it to the person that you wanna connect remotely, or you could press copy and then you could put this into our URL. From this URL, you're gonna be able to see the QR code, which you could take a picture and then send to this person. The QR code is blurred out in this video, but we're gonna scan it on my remote UTP touch. So this is gonna be a little tricky to film as I can't film the screen of the UTP touch max, but you could see that it is defaulted. If we click on this icon, we're gonna be able to get into the settings. Now, right under the protect icon, we could see settings. So I'm going to click on that and then we could see teleport. So that's what we're going to want to click on. And then we need to scan the QR code. As you can see on the phone, it's saying scan QR code. Once I hit that, it's going to open up the camera on this phone. You can see that the camera is now open and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scan the QR code. Now, right from our Unify Network Controller, where we added the teleport VPN, you could see on the right hand side, it says ready to add UTP touch max. And that's directly from that QR code from the Teleport VPN. So let's go into our Unify Talk controller. Okay, now within Unify Talk, we can see this UTP Touch Max is ready to be assigned a user. So let's click on it. Now we could assign this device. And I'm just going to add it to my other user that I have in this controller. Now the phone is up. We could do only internal callings. If we set up a group, we could do external callings. I have a whole other Unify Talk video. I'll put that down below. But I'm going to try to call my first phone. So it's 0001 and we'll call. And you could hear that both of the phones are now ringing. And this is from two different remote locations as I have two different ISPs. The ability to be able to add remote users into Unify Talk is a massive feature upgrade and I'm really glad they added it. The next thing we need is a mobile app. So hopefully they release that. Now, next, I created a group quickly to put both of my users in. I called it staff. We could see my number here. I don't use this number at all. It's just for testing. But the next thing we want to create is the parking lot. So how we do that, we go into our settings. From settings, we're going to go to call settings. And if we scroll down, we could see our call parking. And then we're going to be able to create a new parking lot. For this parking lot, I'm going to give it a name of staff. And then we're going to select our members. I have Cody McCallum as a member, or I have my group that's called staff. So we'll put the group. Now, if you had individual users and not just a group, you could add those there as well. We're going to use the default hold music, and then we're going to have a timeout of five minutes. And then on timeout, we're going to drop the call, but you could send them directly to voicemail if you'd like. So I'm going to press save, and then I'm going to call into my Unify Talk number. We now have the call parking set up, and I have two of my Unify phones here. So I'm gonna call into the number and we'll put it on park and see how it works. Okay, and you could hear that there's a call coming into this phone, so we're gonna answer it. All right, and with the call answered, you could see that there's a call park. So I'm gonna click on the call park and that's gonna put it into the parking lot. Now I have it in the parking lot, I'm gonna grab the other Unify Talk phone. And you should be able to see at the top there, it says park. So if I click on that, this phone is gonna answer the call. So let's do it. 
And now you can see that the call is initiated on this phone after answering it from the parking lot. So that's going to be it for this Unify Talk video. And I'm really glad they added these features. The teleport VPN for remote users brings a huge quality of life that Unify Talk needed. Let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see brought into Unify Talk. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.